Welcome to the call this morning. We have uh, a great, great trainer this morning, Bill Predavon. And uh, when he texted me his, his topic this morning, I thought, you know, that that is really something that uh, I avoid thinking about sometimes. But uh, it's a great thing to look at and see what do I need to fix? What do I need to do better? And he's going to focus on the things we don't do um, and how to, how to turn those into things that are positive and productive for us. Bill is a longtime entrepreneur. He has worked with Bob for a long, long time. Uh, take a break and come back, and uh, he's stronger than ever. He's one of the leaders in the Arizona market, and we're grateful to have him here this morning. Bill, how are you today? Ron, Ron, I'm good, my friend. How are you? Fantastic. Glad you're here. Yeah, you've got great energy this morning, buddy. It's it's always great to hear that. Thanks for being here. I'm glad to be here. <clears throat> Thank you for that uh, awesome introduction. Can you hear me okay? Everything clear? Sounding sounding great. Perfect. Well, I am uh, I am grateful to you. I'm grateful to Salt Lake and and uh, and all the surrounding communities that um, the leaders, uh, of course, Michael and and John and Mitch and and uh, and everybody that's put together this crazy great team so and i'm i'm grateful to be a part of it we got an opportunity to move over to the um elevate team in 2016 when uh when gary was um, going through a lot of surgeries and um and uh, and john and michael and and mitch and uh, and the leaders there uh you know accepted or i, I don't know what the word is um just embraced having us, uh, you know, kind of shadow what they, they, you guys are doing over there in Utah, and um, and uh, and we've just uh, taken it <clears throat> and run with it and uh, and followed exactly what everything you guys are doing. So I, I greatly appreciate it. I am excited for this uh, for this call today, you guys. Uh, I did a training last night on my team call in Scottsdale. I didn't love it. Um, I thought I had some content um, set up, and um, and and I, 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 if I had to say so myself, it was probably my worst my worst training. Hopefully, people on the call did not did not feel that, and maybe they got some benefit from it. And and I got to tell you, I regret that. You know, I don't I don't I don't enjoy that. I'm sure we all don't don't enjoy um, uh, when we don't perform at our best or do our best. So uh, I spent some time working on this training. Um, and as always, you guys, I have the chat up. Um, my trainings, uh, as much as you, as much as I have a topic ready to go, if you have some subjects or, <clears throat> you know, some questions or thoughts or comments that that you want to get off uh, out in the open and discuss, I'm more than happy to. You can interrupt it at any time. Um, uh, yeah, that would be great. Yeah, you can make it go live. If that makes sense. Yep. Yeah. Start the video. I think. Oh, that video. Oh, wow. That's cool. <laughs> All right. Cool. Uh, what do I do here? Oh, go like this. Um, hold on. Anyway. I'm just changing up this video. Let's see. Do I leave it like that, Ron? Are we good? That's up good. to you, Bill. Uh, it looks great from, from where I sit. Okay, it does? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, is that what you meant? Like my video on? Yeah, I think they liked that last week. No kidding. <laughs> Welcome. You see my mug from my... Uh, from my sister, she took pictures off Facebook and she made this mug for Christmas. It's my daily coffee mug. So, uh, all right. So first of all, um, you guys, awesome. You're on this call. Uh, feel free to reach out to anybody that, um, that you have on your teams or you, or are, you know, friends and, and family and, and IMAs that should be on this call. We're only at 69. So apparently, um, you know, we're not quite up to the numbers we were at yesterday, but, you know, understandably, we'll leave it at that. But uh, let's kick this off. First of all, you guys, you're doing, 
one of the things you're doing right is you're getting on your calls and you're on this team call, you're on this training at 7 a.m., 8 a.m., 9 a.m., 10 a.m., um, you know, every single day and, and getting, some, getting some insight, getting some experience, getting some um, knowledge and some, uh, and some training that's going to work on your business and that's a positive, right? So <clears throat> I'm going to kick this off with it's actually the things that I don't do. So if we think about it, I hope that most of you were on the webinar last night. I thought it was a pretty fantastic webinar. Uh, and if you, if you haven't, if you don't get on those webinars, obviously, um, I'm sure you try to, uh, and sometimes you miss. Um, of course, they're always in the recording, and you can, and you can watch them um, or listen to them later on. But, you know, they had the three top uh, leaders on the, uh, what's the word I'm looking at? The, you know, the leaders on the, um, on the London trip, uh, the drive contest, do a, a quick training. And, uh, and they all did a great job, as you know, they're, they're, they're leaders in the industry anyway. Uh, they've, they've developed great teams and, um, and they're, 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 they're uh, at the top of their game working on it all the time. And I, I really liked, to be honest, I like Michael's training um, with, his, uh, with his PowerPoint. And I started thinking about, you know, all the things that he does on a, on a regular basis um, building his business. So now, if we think about it, regardless of your income goal, regardless of your, uh, you know, what you want to accomplish, right? So let's follow me on this. Um, and I'm going to stick mostly with me um, so that I can tell that story. Um, but, you know, I think of an $800,000 salary, it's a pretty good salary, right? And... Um, even even a quarter million dollar salary in the in the Renatus industry, um, if you want to call it a salary, quarter million dollar earnings, if you will, uh, through the through the Renatus business, <clears throat> great 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 earnings for a year, and so we know a, a lot of the income stories we hear about them. You know, twenty thirty thousand dollar months. Um, of course, we know uh, some of the higher end um, incomes that we hear about from across the country, Scott Rowe and Mitch and Nate and, and Michael and John and, you know, uh, you know, all the PAC members and, and then Ryan Black and his wife. And, and so you start to hear about all these folks and, and, uh, and we believe that we can obtain that, right? And, and naturally, we should believe that we can obtain it. And we will, can, we will obtain it once we, um, you know, if we don't ever learn to quit. Now, the thing is, is uh, for me, I think about that, right? And, and I think everybody's going to be able to relate to this no matter what, you, what you're doing in your life. Uh, we have this business, and I think about the things that I don't do, right? And so uh, we all know that attraction marketing, if you remember, and, and many of you are new, and, and welcome if you're new. Uh, I don't know if people are, oh, this is... Sorry about that. Um, we think about um, attraction marketing. And if you remember, Nate Lambert uh, created a $100,000 a month. And the majority of that, I believe, and I don't know the whole story, um, but it, last year he got up on stage and he made $100,000, uh, hit his bank account, paid out to him by Renatus as earnings for his enrollments of students. Um, I don't know about you, but I think that's a pretty darn good month. Uh, I've never had, uh, that I know of, $100,000 a month. I've had several months over 80,000 bucks, but the majority of that has always been real estate for me. Um, and, and so $100,000 a month, what I like about that with the Renatus opportunity is that that's 10 new students that now 50% of them probably are gonna wanna do the marketing and, uh, and, and then they're going to want to get five star qualified and they're going to want to, um, you know, be like, be like Nate and, and follow up. Right. And so, you know, Nate is, is a took, took on, uh, a, a, a <clears throat> Facebook campaign and we trained on it. Um, and, and if you don't know, in my opinion, attraction marketing, I believe that you should definitely get a grip on it. Uh, and understand it and go to your five star or go to someone that's doing it and ask them what they're doing. Um, you know, Facebook marketing is, is not paid advertising, attraction marketing. It's not calls to action. I, I truly don't believe that it's, you know, 
posting pictures and videos of every single event that we have. That gets to be old hat. Um, I think people, it, it, it's not a turnoff, don't get me wrong, especially to the new person seeing it or, you know, for a first few times. But, you know, if you've got someone following you um, and you're always like, imagine, imagine if you, if you are always at work and all you did was post things at work. Oh, this is me and my employees. This is me and my coworkers. Uh, here I am in the, in, the, in the break room. Here I am in my cubicle. Here I am driving my truck. And, and people get it. They know that that's what you do for a living. And then so, you know, you, you are at this, um, you know, you're at work. Attraction marketing is, is things that are happening in your life that are, um, that are new and exciting, um, that happen once in a while and they're a little bit different. And, and again, this isn't a training on attraction marketing, but I think that attraction marketing on Facebook or um, Instagram is, is crazy good. Um, and I, I know for a fact that it works. I've seen it work for a lot of people where, you know, you, and when you do it and, and then you, I mean, you have to spend the time going back and, and responding to the comments of the people that are not just commenting, but the people that are actually show some interest. Um, uh, you know, it starts out with a post, and then um, over time, this person follows you. They might, you might not even know they're following you. Maybe they've only liked a couple things. They've never commented. And then all of a sudden, one of them strikes home. And then they might put in a, a comment. And then later on, the next one, they might, they might say, hey, let me know when the next thing is. And if you don't catch that, if you're not following up on all that, you're gonna, you've wasted your attraction marketing. Like you missed out on the opportunity to, to capture that lead. That is a, now a, basically a warm market following you and following your attraction, your, your exciting things that you're posting every, every, uh, every so often. And you've got to have that balance, as Michael said last night, with, with, um, with life, you know, with real posts. You know, not that those aren't real posts, but, you know, family, friends, um, pets, and, and, and hobbies and things like that. So when I look at it, I am in real estate. And, and naturally, every single day in my life, I, um, I have the ability to uh, go out and post an ad on Facebook about a property because I'm either looking at a new one, I'm at, you know, right now I have, um, I'm closing today, I'm going up to title company uh, right after this. I got to drive up there before my leadership meeting. Hopefully, I'm not going to be late. I'm going to do 100 miles an hour and I'm going to sign on a closing on selling a house, and then I'm going to go to my leadership meeting. So I could do a post on, on, on Facebook from the security title. Uh, yesterday, I was at one of my fix and flips that just went on the market, and then it's got had seven offers on it. Uh, it's a deal that Keely and I are doing together, and um, you know we got a $5,000 over list price offer under contract right now, and there's some, always a new story to that house, so it's cool. Right? So I've got all these opportunities, and I don't do it. I do it once in a while, and when I do it, when I make an attraction marketing post, when I post something about, hey, you know, love my title gals, and I take a picture of me and, and, Chicago, and, uh, and security title or with Rhonda Gall and stuff like that, um, I get leads, <laughs> right? And uh, in fact, I just had someone um, in their third event uh, from a lead from Rhonda because she, I posted a couple pictures of me and Rhonda, who's been in the industry for 35 years. She's got, you know, thousands of people that that know and respect her at, at at the title company and 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 i posted some th some things of course and she's been following me for i don't even know how long a year and finally she reached out to Rhonda, got my number and called me you know reached out to me and and, and Rhonda let me know she was going to talk to me and so her and her husband have been coming to a few events and uh and i've got a one-on-one -on -one with them this week so it works and i don't do it enough i don't do enough regular facebook posting and um and, and I don't, and I don't, I definitely don't do enough for traction marketing, which is, which doesn't make any sense, right? We know that it works. We know that we have a desired outcome. We all on this phone call have a desired outcome, um, to absolutely kill it in 2019 in any way, shape or form. And I don't know if that looks like five, five star qualified, if that looks like your first 10 grand, if it looks like, you know, for me, if it looks like. Uh, income well and above um, $150,000 so I can get nominated to PAC. If it's uh, whatever it is, uh, whatever your income goal is, we know what it is and we know what it takes to do it and we don't do it. Let me, let me give you another example. So I know you're looking at me right now and you're like, man, that guy is super fit. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I go to the gym every single day. 
uh, probably five minimum, six days a week. I play tennis on Tuesday night. Um, I run, uh, I, um, I lift, uh, I do different things. I spin class sometimes on the weekends with my wife. Um, and, and I love fitness, right? I was a pro athlete in my twenties, uh, for a long time. I skied 150 days a year. So it's just been in my nature. I've never really been a gym rat though. Um, but I, I, I as I gotten older, that's been my thing to go to, uh, for staying healthier and in shape. However, <clears throat> I have a, uh, I, I don't have a six pack. <laughs> I do not have a flat stomach. I do not have, um, a take off my shirt body <laughs> in my opinion. And so, um, I never have, and it's not because I don't work out. It's not because I don't eat healthy, but it's because I eat after, after hours. I snack at night. I eat treats and not just on the weekends. Um, I, I know what it takes. I know that you cannot out train a diet. I know that you cannot outrun the amount of calories. If you take in more calories than you burn in a day, you will not lose weight. It's just a fact. Um, and if you eat certain foods at certain times of the day, at a certain age, it goes to a certain spot. And it's a fact. Yet, I don't stop. Somebody is enjoying some music. Um, I guess I can scroll down here really quickly. If you're on, not on mute, maybe mute out, but that's okay. I think it's gone now. So, so here I am um, and all this, uh, you know, exercise and, and, and fitness, right? And relate it to your life, right? Think about the things that we know. And I'm not saying, I'm not saying, uh, you know, don't drink or, or, you know, don't eat sweets or anything like that. But, but I can absolutely change some of my habits. I can absolutely do some things that I know that would benefit me in the long run uh, in how I look with a shirt off and, uh, and having a smaller, a little bit smaller belly um, than I do. And, um, and, uh, and, I, and I don't do it, right? And I'm gonna get to the why in a minute. So as we move forward, right, and we think about it, Michael talked on some really good points, right? And I don't know if you guys do meet up um, and I don't know if you do networking events, but uh, there's also um, all of the different, I mean, if you, if you didn't see the training last night, I thought, I mean, in, in the amount of time, um, in the amount of time that he was uh, talking last night, which was a very short period of time, he put together a pretty decent PowerPoint on, on the simple things that he does on a daily basis. And so, when it's just him, when, when he, I think when he's training, it's not um, just him. I think that Bob Snyder started this. Uh, it's been something Bob has been done for decades when he was in the industry and in the trenches. Um, it's how he became the general um, and led his troops, uh, which are now us, and teaches, um, you know, the systems and the, and the, and the money-making activities. And you hear Michael talk about money-making. And again, I got to clarify this all the time. Like I, I, I communicate with John O'Neill quite often. Uh, he's a good friend of mine. Um, I have a great leader here, Gary Lawrence, um, who makes an outstanding pack income. Um, I have, um, and we have leaders across the country that you guys are affiliated with all the time. Your pit members, um, you know, Christian Sadler and, and Ryan Black and his wife and, and, uh, and Mitch Nelson and, and all of the, and Nate Lambert, all of your guys' leaders across the country, those up in Seattle and in Denver, um, Dane Clark and, and, uh, and Chris White, you know, so please don't, don't think that I, I'm not talking about those guys too. These guys know what they're doing. And, um, and they are, they are living this business, right? They are, they are creating um, a system that they follow, right? And for me, I know that if I did that, maybe I would have been on the pack last year or, you know, made my pack income at least uh, last year instead of making 72 grand. I know that um, perhaps I'd even have a 50 or 60 or $80,000 a month. Um, I know we all know what it takes to get five-star qualified, right? We all know that we need to um, get more people in front of the information. We need to follow that pipe, right? If you saw Michael do that, you 
bam fam build for you know build uh, book a meeting from a meeting and then you uh, follow up again and then you go to another meeting and you follow up again and then you start that process all over every single day with new leads right and if you think about three foot rule right and michael michael's always on i, I can imagine from what i understand from what he teaches right and obviously his income reflects that his team size reflects that so michael is always on and what i mean by always on is he is always uh he's he's talking he must be talking to a lot of people you know you hear some of his stories if you listen to these trainings which is you know just you know really taking the time to listen to him while, whatever you're doing while you're on this call and i i listen to them um and you know when he was talking to that guy in in the park with his dog right and, and and he's he's constantly on let's see does anybody know a renatus realtor who specializes in investors or commercial real estate in pittsburgh i don't have an answer to that right now um i'll put my um I'll put my cell phone up here um just so you have it why is that privately uh let's see everyone I don't know how this works. So, sorry guys, I'm just trying to put this up in the chat, but I don't know how to answer that because it's, it's stuck on private. Um, everyone. Oh. Okay, no, that's all right. You're fine. Anyway, my number is 760-533-3141. And I don't know why. It looks like it went to Ulani Pro. Oh, wait, let me do this. There we go. Got it. I figured it out. Okay. Yeah, you have to, uh, just like me, you have to change who you're typing it to. So that message is to everybody. That's my phone number. You can text me, um, Becky. And, uh, and I, I have a team in Pittsburgh and I can help you out later with that. Uh, anyway, no worries. Um, so, uh, the point of this is if you think about the three foot rule and, and I don't do the three foot rule, uh, I shouldn't say that I should clarify. I don't do it enough. I don't do it that often. I don't do it. Uh, I don't even Michael's, uh, quick line there where he has that attraction uh, saying, you know, on his elevator speech that takes literally, I don't know, 10 seconds to say, and he follows it up with a question that wouldn't interest you, would it? Um, it's, it's genius. It's brilliant. Uh, I don't know if he made it up or if he got it from one of the trainings, but I don't have it memorized. And, um, and so when I'm out in the field and I have a three foot rule, I, 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 I don't, um, I have to come up with something and, and I'm able to do that just like you guys are. We're able to, to come up with something, but it's not on purpose and it's not all the time. Right. In fact, I avoid it sometimes, right? Because I'm too busy. I don't want to take the time. Um, I don't want the rejection. I don't want to get into a conversation and have to try to explain myself because I'm going to screw it up. And then they're going to ask me questions and I'm not going to know what to say. And, uh, um, sorry, my, uh, landscaper has one of my properties and has absolutely blown up my phone. So he's going to have to wait. Um, that's just the way it is. So, um, I don't do it, right? I don't spend enough time. I, I'm not out in the field on purpose. I have had many people in three foot rule join my team over the years. It's especially in my, like my real estate business, right? Um, and I build a relationship with these folks and they actually go from a three foot rule to a warm market. But, um, but there's, there's definitely knowing that I know how to collect information, get someone's information, their cell phone number and their name and call them later and have a direct conversation and do the inviting then, not in front of Starbucks or not at the library or at the gas station, but have a, 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 con a, a, a small conversation while I'm pumping gas to uh, intrigue somebody and get their interest and see if they're interested in business or real estate or, you know, if the, if the, 
if the right opportunity presented itself and the timing was right, would you would you consider, you know, do you leave your options open for, for other income streams, right? We all know that. And I don't do it. I don't do it that often. I don't do it often enough. I don't do it all the time. I'm not on, right? And so all of these things, and I can, I can spend some time going through more of them, and I probably will make, make a few, right? Like if you think about meetups, I started talking about that. Um, if you think about the meetup group, um, that Michael talked about last night with John O'Neill used to talk about training. He talk, he trains a lot on, on networking, go to different events that are qualified individual there, real estate events, uh, personal development events, things like that, where you're collecting three foot rule, um, names and numbers from people that are at those events that have the same interest in common. You know, they're obviously out looking to better themselves. They have a leg up on, on someone perhaps that's sitting in a W2 cubicle job. Right. Um, if that makes sense. So uh, for me, you know, I think about that and most networking events happen what time? They happen after five o'clock, right? So if you're like me, you have a job. And, and as much as uh, I like to call, I have, a, I have a business that's a job. Now, my business is fairly leveraged, right? I mean, there's no way one guy is going to be able to do seven projects at a time with, um, without having some leverage. But nonetheless, it's still a job. And um, you know, I don't have an acquisitions manager. I don't have someone out there raising private money. I don't have someone out there, um, you know, signing on inking deals and going up to the title company for me. They're not on an LLC of mine or anything like that. So there's a lot of things that only I do in my company. The rest of it, my realtors, finding deals, bird dogs, um, money partners, uh, you know, of course, all my contractors, uh, my project managers, people running the show. Uh, at the at the project, you know, I've got all those things, right? But I have a job, and and it it you know I I spend I don't know 30, 40, 50 hours a week sometimes, maybe twenty sometimes uh, in my real estate business, and so you know I go to the gym, I walk my dogs, I get on these calls, I do my real estate, I do my meetings, you know, I have lunch, I go to a lunch meeting. Um, I might play a round, uh, you know, a set of tennis, uh, and then uh, and then to want to come home and, and hang out with my wife and my dogs and watch TV and cook dinner and, and, and just do the normal da daily things that I do. Um, if I have to go to a networking event on a Wednesday, I already go to meetings on Thursday. I'm already on calls on Monday. I do my own personal training call on Tuesday and then I go play tennis for my, my team on Tuesday, right? Then I have Saturday events and then I have, um, and then sometimes Friday follow up, right? So, so I'm already doing all these things, and now I'm going to throw in a, I'm going to throw in a, a networking event once a week or or two, you know, uh, you know. Now I'm 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 gone, <laughs> right? I'm, I'm gone another night, and so I don't do it, right? When we think about um, when we think about uh, I believe that audio business card is taught in understanding your investor ID. Yeah, that's very true, Chuck. I think you're absolutely right. That is, uh, and th that brings me to a, a good point, Chuck. Thank you for bringing that up. I love it when you guys do that. Is that, you know, another thing I don't do is I've been in this industry for 11 years. I've been an investor. I've flipped over 100 homes. I've done over 130 deals. Um, you know, I have rental property um, in, in, in four different states. Um, I have an Airbnb in California. And, and so I've been in this real estate industry. What I, what I haven't, I'm not a commercial developer. I'm not a commercial real estate owner. Um, I do have some multifamily, but I don't have a big apartment complex. I, uh, I, had, I had a 47 unit at one time, it's a long story. I think I might've talked about it once. I'll talk about it again on a good training. And, um, and, uh, and yet I don't, there's a lot of things I haven't done. I'm not a velocity banking expert. I have, I have many, many real estate loans. <laughs> um, and, uh, I did pay off my cars. Uh, I do own my cars outright, but, um, but, uh, I don't watch the class every week. And, and how amazing is watching a class, something new, something re-recorded, uh, a newer class, um, writing down questions, writing down action steps, uh, and then implementing them and being able to post that on attraction marketing, right? We know it's a fact. We know it works. I just learned this. I just did this. This is what I just studied. This is what I'm out doing. Um, 
you know, when we have a result, obviously the fix and flip's the easiest one. Oh, look, I fixed and flipped this house or I got this deal. But I'm talking about just making an offer or writing a contract or, you know, implementing your velocity banking calculator and, uh, or, you know, saving on taxes, setting up an entity, changing it to an S corporation and telling people why you're not saying, Hey, join me. If you want to learn how to do this, you're just saying, Hey man, I just saved 15% by changing my LLC into an S corp, right? You start posting this stuff, but we don't, I don't do it. I don't watch a class every week. I'm too busy, right? Not because I know everything. I don't watch fix and flip necessarily, but do you think I could learn a few things from Ben and Heather? They've done 750 fix and flips. I've done a hundred. I think, yeah, I could, right? But I don't, uh, cause I'm too busy, right? I have a full-time job. I have a business and then I have a part-time business that's full-time, which is Renatus, right? So I'm working 50, 60 hours a week and it's easy work. It's not like I'm at, I'm out there, humping every day for, for an hour at a time on my 50, 60 hours a week, but I'm still, I'm still not doing sitting in front of the couch or, or at the gym or, or riding a bike or, or traveling the world or, or shopping or whatever else I would be doing um, if I wasn't working. But nonetheless, I'm still, you know, so it's just not, it's not hard work uh, and it's an easy 60 hours for the most part, but I'm still, it's still taking up my time. Right. So, um, so I don't do it. I don't do the things that I know if I did in a short, long period of time, in a long, short period of time, in a short period of time, whatever it is, right? I could be on my path to an $800,000 salary or earnings for a year, right? This is awesome, Keely. Ever since you said not to do a call to action on social media posts, I've gotten several private messages from Warm Market. It's working. See, I just, I just think that's fantastic. Um, I love it when people. Uh, that's from um, from a, a, a up and coming leader here in, in, in Scott. So you all know and love her, uh, Keely. That um, you know. Taking things out of training and implementing are things you do do. <laughs> Did I just say do do? Hope that's not being recorded. So uh, that's awesome when we do the things we have to do uh, that we're supposed to do that we know that work and, and then we implement them. And it's fantastic and it's absolutely right. Uh, attraction marketing is, is, is allowing people to get in touch with you on their terms and where it's their idea. Uh, even when we have conversations, in my opinion, I always preach this and teach this and try to work on it myself and do it myself is that I never want to be like, Hey, I want you guys to do this. And I want you to do that. And, and, and this is, it's not about me. It's about them. I want, I try to um, have conversations with folks that are prospects and that are getting involved in the company um, and the opportunity to, to make it their idea that, that they decided to do it. Not because I convinced them or, or that I had the, the right reasons. I had the solution. <clears throat> but we always want to make it when they've, when they've decided that it's them that decided that it was going to change their life and things like that, they're, they're going to they're gonna move forward with the opportunity. Um, and so attraction marketing allows them to see something they want. And, and instead of you being like, hey, call me if you're interested or let me know if you want to come to another event. Um, that's you asking them to do something that they don't really want to do. But when they're like, Hey man, this is so cool. Um, I would, I might go to another event of yours and it's their idea, but you're the one putting it out there knowing that you're trying to attract them. All of a sudden it's their idea and they're going to be more likely to come. So that is awesome. Keely that you're, you're doing that and taking that and taking that um, advice and making that work because it does work. So here's the thing. Um, why don't we, why don't I do this? Right. And if I think about it, I mentioned, I started a little bit on three foot rule, for example. Um, you know, if you're in a hurry, which I'm always in a hurry, we got limited time on lunch break. We've got to move to our next meeting. We got to get in the car. I drive fast. Um, I take a lot of chances. <laughs> Just kidding. That used to be the ending of a, of a bar in Vail. Good night, folks. Drive fast, take a lot of chances, right? After you had drinks all night, it was a joke. But um, so I drive fast, I go places, I'm always on the move, and I'm busy. 
And so if I'm getting in line at Starbucks or I'm at the gas station or I'm at lunch and I'm listening to conversation all the time and I'm, I can see there's prospects in the, in the room, everybody needs Renatus. I need to get this word out. If I want to meet my goals, I've got to talk to more people. I've got to share this information. If I want to change the world and change lives, I've got to talk to people. And, and I know all this. And then I start to think about, well, do I really want someone sitting there while I'm trying to eat lunch or get my lunch, you know, and there's people in line and I'm going to ask them, you know what? Um, hey, uh, you know, wh well, what have you done? Or, you know, that's kind of weird. Why are you asking me for my number? Or, you know, whatever the case is, right? And you get some sort of rejection. Or worse, you start getting people interested and then they're asking you all kinds of questions. And then you've got to be like, well, this isn't the time or place to do it. Uh, but let me get your name and number and I'll call you later about it, right? So you got to have a game plan. And so because of the, of the thought process, what's worse is we would just think that we're going to make a fool out of ourselves. They're going to think we're an idiot and we're going to stumble and trip all over ourselves and it's going to be embarrassing and, or whatever the case is. And, and so we don't do it, right? Where we start to think about going to a meetup and we're like, you know what? I'm not prepared. Uh, I'm brand new. I haven't done anything. I got no deals on my table under my belt. You know, I just started. I haven't made any money. I'm not five star qualified, or I'm just five star qualified, or I've been five star qualified for three months and I still haven't done anything. Or blah blah blah. blah. All the limiting beliefs, the the excuses, all this stuff comes into mind. So why would we want to go to a, a, a networking event? Or all of those things don't exist. We've done personal development. We're through all that. We've crushed our limiting beliefs, and we start to think about like me, and we're starting to think like, well. Do I really want to go and spend another Wednesday on a night when that's my only night off to be sitting home watching some TV or, you know, doing something, playing a game, building a puzzle, spending quality time with my wife, things like that, right? So I got the kids, I got the games, I got this, I got that. So, so we don't. We make an excuse, we make a reason not to do it, and we don't do it. I don't do it, right? Yet we sit and we wake up in the morning excited. We uh, go to bed at night excited, can't sleep, thinking about how much money we can make with Renatus, the team we're going to build, the things we're going to do. We get off of a webinar and we hear someone making $800,000 in a year. Uh, we hear, you know, $50,000 a month. We see people in the top 15 on the London trip and we're not there. And all the things that we want are right there in front of us, but we're not doing the things that we do. I'm not doing the things that I know I could be doing more of because I have excuses. I have um, reasons, right? I, I make money. I make good money. I got a full-time job. You know, if I, if I take away from my real estate, then it's going to take me longer and I don't have the instant gratification that I want from networking, right? Um, you know, look how long it takes someone to enroll. Look how I have to chase these people down. Look how most of the time that it takes me, I, I get people that really want to do this, but they're not able to do it. Nobody's a raw student or a raw prospect, right? Remember, Ready, able, and willing. Able being the number one where they're not able to fund. So then you spend all this time funding and you got to meet up with them and you got to go through a funding webinar and you got to sit down and you got to, you know, convince them that they need to talk to their parents and use their parents, you know, 401k to fund their education and they got to create a loan. And so all these limiting beliefs come in there, right? But here's the thing if we're meeting more people and we're talking to more people, I mean, <laughs> to be honest, those people need our help. But everybody needs our help. Everybody needs our nods. So it's amazing. There are folks all the time that are raw, that are ready, able, and willing. And they just need to hear the information and get in front of it and see you that you care, which you all do. You wouldn't be on this call if you didn't. And those folks immediately sign up. And they don't, they don't need your help finding the funding. They're already thinking about it when they see it Thursday night for the very first time. They're like, holy crap, I can do this. Right? And then they just need to get a little more validation, a little more understanding, a little more clarity, a little more due diligence, and boom, they're done. And they're, they're, they're enrolled in a week or two weeks or three weeks or, or whatever. And boom, you make a $10,000 check and you change someone's lives and you got a new team member and you're working with them in their warm market and it moves on. And if you have more of the things that we don't do, if I did more of the things that I don't do for my business, I would meet more of the raw clients and I would have more $10,000 checks with less hassle. And then the other people that I'm working with that take longer, which is, you know, like me, I was broke, had no credit, couldn't figure out the, the funding. I had resources at home that I wasn't willing to go, go ask for. I had to figure it out on my own right up until the fact that I couldn't do it. it took me almost two months, right, to find the funding. So um, those folks will come around. You'll keep working with them, but you won't be stressed on them. 
because you've got the other $10,000 checks coming in. You've got your, you know, you've got a pipeline of people that are raw and ready, able and willing because you went out and did more work. You went out and did the things that you know you're supposed to do. You did the Facebook marketing, you did the meetups, you did the Toastmasters, you had the funnel, you bam, bam, you booked from another event, you followed up, you do all these things. You went to, uh, you did a three foot rule three times a day or 10 times a day. You did all the things that you're being trained to do without making excuses. And now you have people funding because you're finding the right people that don't take long to fund, that have the resources. You know, for the 100 million people that got in trouble in the crash, like the actual recession, the absolute worst economic real estate market in the history of the world, right? 200 million people in America were just fine. But all we hear about is the people that got killed, crushed, lost it. And they continue to tell us about it. I know what to do. It's early, early January, 2019. And, and I know what I don't do. And I think that's part of that SWOT analysis, maybe accidentally, I wasn't even training on that or thinking about that, but you know, my weaknesses, right? The things that I don't do or that I don't do enough of, that I don't commit to, that I, um, allow excuses to, right? I, I don't allow an excuse to keep me from building this business. Obviously my numbers show that, my team should, I, I do that, right? But I'm not where I wanna be. I'm not, uh, I'm definitely not in the top 15 right now. I'm, I, I'm hoping I'm close, but geez, some people must really be doing well. And, um, and so, you know, with that being said, I know that I, I have to do more of the things I don't do. I know what I'm not doing. I know how to do what I'm not doing. I just have to determine that I want to do more of what I'm not doing in order to get to where I want to go with the Renata's business and with my marketing and changing lives. And, um, and I think that for me, um, if I remember that and I remember to implement the training, like I think about it all the time. I think about watching a class and then I put it off and I, do paperwork. If you can see all this crap on my desk, I'm a paperwork freak, right? Um, and um, and so, uh, you know, I look for more property, I raise more money, I do more deals. Oh, I'm gonna go cut down on my deals. You know, what is it, two months ago, I was in eight transactions at once. So um, it's not conducive to, uh, um, to building a, a bigger Renatus business. So I have to tone it down a little bit. Right, I have to sacrifice those those um, grateful sacrifices. What do they call the 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 happy sacrifices? The ones that um, you know enable us to move forward and do better in what it is that we want to do. Um, any thoughts, comments, questions? Uh, let's see. I think I've gotten most of the chats. Looks like there's a deal up there. If you guys aren't looking in the chat, uh, Jess has a. A flip today. <laughs> Sounds like a good deal. I don't know where Jess is though. Could be in one of several states. If anybody have any uh, questions or thoughts or comments, feel free to set it up in the chat. And I'll finish with this. Um, the coolest thing I think about is that with all the opportunity that Renatus offers in the education, you're welcome, Manuel. Awesome. You're very welcome. Uh, I'm blessed to be on this call and be able to share information. It's, it's truly an honor, you guys, to have you guys uh, interact and, and talk to me and listen to me and, and all that. And uh, it helps me, I'll tell you. But with all of the um, opportunity that Renatus offers, all the different training, all the different events, all the different um, leadership um, you know, line that we can follow and we can look up to and we can talk to all the different opportunities with the real estate and, and, the, and the money we can make and the different things that we do. My first cash combo after being five star was 100% Facebook attraction. I can't tell you guys enough um, how much I believe in that, Eloy. Uh, I absolutely uh, believe in what you're talking about. It's the best. So congratulations on that, man. Great job. 
Um, the coolest thing is, is that on any given day, as Michael, uh, as um, Brian Bullock said last night, uh, you can just you can just turn this on. You can you can start over. You can start fresh. You can start new today, this day, tomorrow, whatever it is, uh, and we can we can eliminate all the things that we don't do. And we can start implementing them all the time. And the minute we do, it takes a little time to get some traction, but your business can grow very quickly. And uh, at any given time, you have the opportunity to um, introduce this to two people and get five star qualified, or introduce it to one person and get and make ten thousand dollars and change a life, and then have someone that wants to do the same, and you can turn that into another nineteen thousand uh, dollars very, very quickly. And so um, that's the power of this opportunity. The power is that at any given time, we are constantly um, being gut checked by our leaders and starting from Bob Center at the top with his, with his um, generally speaking, all the way down through the pack into the pit and all your local leaders and trainers across the country that are uh, working with us, all of us at any given time to, to remind us that we have an opportunity, that we can crush our limiting beliefs, that we can take action, that we can do the things that we don't do. And, and it's awesome. Bill, I feel like I'm getting to know you better being able to see you on the video. Oh, you're welcome, Ron. Awesome. <laughs> That's cool. I never thought about that before. Uh, it works for me. Uh, fortunately, today I put clothes on. Usually I'm sitting here naked. Now, that's not true either. <laughs> that's not true. Um, soon, once I start doing that belly thing at night and stop eating for seven, uh, you know, for 11 hours, then, uh, then I'll, I'll go shirtless for you guys. Uh, and then uh, we'll have that for the summer videos and we'll have much more people on this line. I'm sure <laughs> I'm just kidding folks. Uh, we'll keep it PG. We'll keep it PG. Um, you guys are awesome. It's 8 57. Um, I've got to drive up to title, which is about 45 minutes away and sign on a document. And then I have to go to my leadership meeting after that. I hope I'm not late because Gary Lawrence, Dr. Gary G, he, uh, he hates it when I'm late and I'm usually always late. So, um, so I'm gonna try not to be. Um, I do have a couple more minutes before the top of the hour, it's 8.57. Does anybody have any thoughts, comments, questions before we close up? I hope that this, uh, I hope me calling myself out in front of all 85 of you or whatever it was, um, <laughs> helped everybody else as much as it helped me. I, I have a couple of photos in my phone that I've had since last week that I am going to do an attraction marketing post this morning and, uh, and I'm going to get back on it and I am going to, um, I am going to do a three foot rule, um, every single day, um, to some extent. Um, and so that's cool. Eloy, thank you. Uh, yeah. Names, phone numbers, and emails. Yep. I guess as long as I get their name and phone number, I can get their email later. But, um, you guys are rock uh, awesome. You guys are rock solid. I'll see you all at nationals. I'll look forward to meeting everybody. Um, and I, I look forward to this call every week. I appreciate everybody being on the call and on the, on the webinar. Um, so make it a great day. Thank you very much. I'm glad you liked the video. Thanks for that um, reminder, Ron. It, it works for me. Keely, thanks for the comments. Uli, thank you. Melissa, you're welcome. Thank you, everybody, as well. Um, I will uh, go ahead and end the meeting. Um, everybody make an amazing day, have a good time, get to work, do something that you don't do today and tell me about it next week or something. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Have a great day. Thanks, Melissa. Thanks everybody. I'll see you. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow.